Welcome to Northern Ants. I appreciate you stopping by my channel to check out my ant keeping video. This will be an overview of all my colonies except for a couple of the uh, colonies that are in test tubes. This first colony, as you can see in the back here, hold on, here, let's put it on the front. This is one of my Formica colonies that has uh, two, usually it had three different species of Formica ants. Now it looks like it just has the black and the red ants in it. Um, and let's take a look. Uh, it has a lot of good, nice looking pupa in there, and some larva, and a bunch of eggs. This is one that is on the heat right now, along with the one in the, the first colony, is upstairs on the heat now. You can see some of the fruit flies chewed up in masses on top of the water tower here. This is a, a Tar Heel Ants Mini Hearth XL. That first colony was in a fallen fortress from Tar Heel Ants also. I seen the queen from this colony a couple days ago, but not this time. Okay, here we've got one of the uh, Formica do Dolor, Dolis. It's D-O-L-O-S-A. As you can see, they're all nice and filled up with food. I did give them some fruit flies the other day. If you look closely at the queen's tail, it's got little white dots on it. I'm not sure, but let me know in the comments if you know exactly what those are. Uh, I don't know if they're mites or, or what they are. I'm not sure why the workers haven't cleaned them off of her yet. Hopefully they're not something harmful. Other than that, the colony's looking really nice. They are in a fallen fortress from Tar Hill Ants. Okay, here we've got some of the harvester ants. This is the colony from last Thanksgiving's Black Friday sale. You can see there's a really nice amount of larva on top of the water tower and, some, and a bunch of pupa and some young workers. And here we got a Formica Black Ant colony. Uh, as you can see the queen there, they're doing fairly well. They're in a Mini Hearth XL from Tar Hill Ants. I've only seen one queen. A few of my colonies have a few queens. This colony is actually still in the basement. Uh, it's just the queen and a few workers. Uh, I haven't pulled them up and put them on heat yet. I might just to try to get some egg production. Here we've got another Formica colony. This one's on heat right now. And this one is in a fallen fortress. As you can see, it's got a fairly decent population going in it. Hoping that they will start producing eggs again. I gave them some fruit flies the other day. Trying to get some population starting up. Some eggs and larvae so I have better material for filming for you guys. As you can see, they have uh, plenty of food in their bodies also. I'm still not real sure on the species. I know people have, have told me. I just forgot to write it down. Um, there's a lot of queens in here. Uh, they did stop production of eggs because I have them down in the basement um, for hibernation, which they don't really look like they're hibernating. Here we got another uh, harvester ant colony. This is actually the very first harvester colony I had got from Tar Hill Ants back in August of 2020. As you can see, there's a pretty good stockpile of larvae on top of the water tower and on the chamber right above the water tower. Here we've got that orange ant colony. They 
that smell like citrus when you disturb the colony. They're still in hibernation. There's a little bit farther shot, so you kind of see there's some that don't have their wings. I'm not sure if they're mated or not. I haven't seen any eggs, but they're still in hibernation. Sorry about the glitching. There was a my focus wasn't working quite right at the moment. And here's one of my test tube colonies. This is the dog, same as the the other colony, the D O L O S A. And then we've got the Formica. It's almost like a wood ant, but it, they do more of a slave maker kind of species. They'll usually invade a black ant or red ant colony. And we've got a polyergus. These are uh, just polyergus workers. I didn't find a queen this year, but it's still cool to have a uh, have the workers with their their needle sharp mandibles. One one of the kinds I like a lot. My favorite so are the uh, wood ants. And here we've got a uh, carpenter ant colony. You can see the queen is surrounded by her workers. They're still in the basement in the hibernation. I was looking around to see if I could find the of larva. You can see a few right there in the front. Some of the tiny larva that they go into hibernation with. This is the uh, harvester ant colony that you've been seeing a lot of videos on lately because they've got a, a really good stockpile of brood, uh, pupa, and larva over the heating cable right there. And they are in a mini labyrinth.
be sure not to miss anything. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you know so you get your notifications for those new videos. Thank you so much. I hope to talk to you in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.